Greetings and salutations, YouTube. Uh, back here doing another nerd report. And today's report is going to be of the cellular industry type. So I dabble in the cell, cell side of the industry when it comes to cell phones and cellular. So like um, I have uh, Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile. And I was reading this article here from Droid Life and is asking... Are you happy with Verizon, T-Mobile, and AT&T? So this is going to be come down to like more along the lines of how you might feel about your service. But as an industry in the whole, a lot of things have been happening within the last, I say, three to four years where consolidation has been happening. Um, mergers have been going on. And what is is in store in the future I, that's how i look at it so right now the battle is is what i call the 5g cold war so i've said it a couple times but uh a lot of people don't quite quite know what's going on and right now it's starting to look like there's a country that's losing or perceived to be losing or might be wounded so this article is goes into basically talking about how, you know, Verizon was sitting on top for a long time. And then now as T-Mobile has become a little bit more consolidated, there's no more Sprint. And AT&T is not really doing much in the way of gaining subscribers. There's a, a, a third up and coming runner coming up from behind. So if you read this article... You know, feel free to comment below, leave your leave your ideas. And I do want to say as a, you know, full disclosure, I do have five lines on T-Mobile. Maybe that might make my opinion a little bit biased, but I still like to report on it. But how do you feel about the current state of things? Do you see Verizon as, oh, this is just a momentary setback? If you read this article, they're talking about like Verizon is losing some shine off that luster. You know, that can you hear me now really is not um retaining customers anymore. There people are leaving for greener pastures and you know, you got the the cable industry coming up grabbing um customers from behind and then they got to deal with another competitor that's actually competing against them and really don't care what they do. They try to get the customers from Verizon or AT and T. So is this, this article basically talks about the brief state of things of the cellular industry. Um, in my opinion, I do think that uh, Verizon. I haven't ever seen Verizon this active. So like you know, with them being on top for so long, they, for the most part set up there with can you hear me now and people bought the service and was like proud to pay a, a top premium but what about now you know you got other competitors in the space people want to save some money on their sell bill how do you feel do you feel that your cellular bill might be too high are you looking are you actively looking for um new a new service provider are you trying to get money off your bill and calling customer service asking where's the deals at? But the way I see it is, is Verizon is losing some ground and secret text messages from Verizon is, is letting me know that they might be hurting a little bit. But that's just my anecdotal uh, opinion. What say you? So feel free to leave a comment below, you know, keep the conversation going. If you want to join the Patreon so we can continue this talk one-on-one -on -one or in a group, let me know and then sign up and we can uh, have this conversation together. Uh, feel, feel free to like, share, and subscribe and y'all have a good one.